Smart Energy Manager is a new generation integrated system which helps commercial inverters complete system self-consumption monitoring, export limitation, reactive power control. Today, we will introduce you about the system installation. Unpacking the package. Take out the Accessories and Smart Energy Manager according to the accessories listed in the manual. There are three CTs, expansion pipes, self-tapping screws and key. With the combination of CTs, the system could fit in a large power system. Before installation, we need to prepare the tools. There are four parts inside the Smart Energy Manager. Shine Master, the control call, could realize the data translation, power adjustment, and remote monitoring function. The status LED is used to display the running status of Shine Master, meter, real-time monitoring of voltage, current and function parameters. Breaker, control the start and shutdown of the meter and power supply. Wiring terminal block, with these items internal, Smart Energy Manager owns three main functions. The terminals from left to right are antenna, RJ45, RS485, CT port, voltage sampling interface, and ground terminal. RJ45 port is used for remote monitoring. The terminal block includes 13 wiring ports, RS-485 communication port include 485A, GND, 485B, IAC, current transformer interface. There are three pairs of ports. V8C voltage sampling interface includes L1, L2, L3, and M port. Unscrew the swivel cover nut from cable gland. Remove the filler plug from the cable. Insert the jump wire through the small hole one by one. Press the terminal with the relevant tool. Fix the terminal by using screwdriver. Finally, tighten the socket. As for IEC terminal, the process is similar. Please note that the wiring color of different terminals it is recommended to use shielded twisted pair cable for RS485 wire. The shielding layer is connected to the GND pin of the RS485 interface of SEM and inverter. The installation of RS485 is easy. Just insert the RS485 wire to the interface, then tighten the screws and waterproof terminal. Note, the Smart Energy Manager can only be connected to a maximum of 32 units. If the number of inverter is greater than 2, the last one inverter is to add the matching resistor, which is located inside the inverter between pin 3 and pin 4. We just need to change the connected pins of CN5. CT is the abbreviation of the current transformer, which is used to measure the relative fire line coming through it. There are P1 and P2 silk screens on both sides of the current transformer to distinguish the direction. P1 side is close to the grid and the P2 is close to inverter and loads. The fire wire comes across the CT's hole, then S1 of the CT1 is connected to IA1, S2 is connected to IA2. For the other two CTs, the process is similar. The CT must be installed in the distribution cabinet cross to the grid side. The wiring sequence of CTs and voltage sampling wires are fixed. The fire line marked as L1 passes through CT1, which linked to IA1 and IA2. L2 passes through CT2, which linked to IB1 and IB2. L3 passes through CT3, which linked to IC1 and IC2. We have different CTs for different sizes of the system. We select CT sides according to the system's maximum current. The CT must be installed in the distribution cabinet cross to the grid side. Smart Energy Manager could be configured by Shine Master and there are two ways could be used to configure the Shine Master. 
via a router or connect to the Smart Energy Manager directly. Pull a network cable from a router with a network and plug it directly into the RJ45 port of the Smart Energy Manager. Then tighten the socket. By configuring the monitoring plot, we can realize the remote monitoring. Pay attention! The grounding terminal is necessary to ensure reliable operation and personal safety. The following table is the recommended specifications for cables. The inside and outside of the diagram are shown below. Working with MAC series and a monitoring plot, we can realize the function of Smart Energy Manager. The cables are connected to the distribution cabinet through a cable tray, and the connection in the cabinet should be considered that the wiring is one-to-one -one correctly, as the diagram shows. The following are the configuration of the monitoring module. Connect the PC and Shine Master to the same router so that they can on the same line. Then check the IP address of Shine Master. Enter the Shine Master IP address into the Shine Master built-in page in your browser. Connect the PC directly to the Shine Master via the RJ45 cable. The default IP of Shine Master is 192.168.0.254. You can access the Shine Master built-in page by entering the default IP on your computer. After access the built-in page, we can modify and set the parameters, the default username and a password, admin. In the built-in page, we can learn about the data logger status, set expert limitation and power factor value. We also can add and remote multiple devices at once. Click the Export Limits and Data Logger setting section on the left side of the page to perform the Export Limitation function, add or delete the device and add it the baud rate. The default Export Limitation power is zero. If we enter minus 100, the user is allowed to obtain a maximum of 100 kW power from the grid. If the load exceeds 100 kW to the grid, the inverter will rise output power. If we enter 100, the system will be allowed to export 100 kW to the grid. When the output of the grid exceeding 100 kW, the system will limit the inverter power output. The fallback activated function is to deal with the failure of the expert limitation. When on is selected, if the expert limitation is failed, we can set the response time and active power in fallback mode. In the self-consumption page, we can learn about the energy produced trend, load consumption, export to grid, import from the grid and so on.